Well, hey there folks, and welcome to Traywick Made. Our family loves to share things we make, recipes we bake, and adventures we take, together since 1994. Our channel was created to pass on and preserve our memories for the next generation. That's Kelly and Matt, who gave us Bubba. Papa and Gaga, hey, that's me. <laughs> we send videos to share our shenanigans with Bubba, who loves to give us feedback. If it was really up to him, we'd be having chicken and yellow rice every night for supper. Thank y'all so much for stopping by. And please, if you like what you see and hear from us, hit the subscribe button, like our video, and we love comments. Check out in the description box for tiny tidbits. This video is about a barnwood coffee cart table we built from scratch for our family room using the Shanty to Chic free plans. We hope you enjoy our build. She won't let me paint. She's painting. Not only that, I might be able to put the hardware on probably next week sometime by the time she gets done painting. <laughs> you want me to show you the hardware, Bubba? I'll show you. No. See? These are the wheels. I painted blue for the bottom. They're steel. I'm going to put corner brackets on the side to make it look like a rustic barn cart. And I even painted the screw heads. Like I didn't want to paint them black, so we painted them blue to match everything else. Say love you, Bubba. It's not going to stay white. But thinking about putting this kind of technique on top, it's weathered wood. That's why I got a little lip here. You see the little lip there? I made it so we can put boards. But that was our sample board. These are the boards we're putting down right here. But we got to paint them. But we got to make it weathered look. You see the weathered? Looks like barn wood. Do you like that? Hey Bubba, these are the boards. Okay, Bubba, these are the boards that's going on top. Once again, God God's making me a video and won't let me work. Cause she says I can't paint. I don't know how to do the technique. So then you tell Bubba, you tell Bubba what you're doing, God God, being since you know everything. Here you go. Right now, I'm painting as lightly as possible with a dry brush. Okay. Because I'm going to paint this whole thing. Don't worry, Bubba, one day I'll get to work on it. You see, Bubba? You see the brand new board? We're gonna make it look like the old board. Okay, Bubba, the turquoise color is done, she says. Okay, Bubba, this is color number three. She has mint, a little bit of mint. Hold on. See? A little bit of mint. Turquoise, gray. And then she's going to go back and put some white. And then when it dries, we got to sand it down some, and then we got to put some light brown stain over it to make it look weathered. Bye-bye. Hey, Bubba, it's your Gaga. 
and this is the top of the coffee table. Doesn't that wood look like super, super old? Like I just went and pried it off the side of a barn? Alright, welcome to Trawick Made. I know that you've just watched the short clips and the photography for the Barnwood coffee cart uh, table for our living room here at the Trawick house. And I wanted to just share with you my project page and how I wanted to keep track of the uh, material cost. And one of the things uh, we did look on Shanty the Sheik's website because we just love the gal's Instagram over there and just totally obsessed with all handmade items that they make. On the video, it does say that it's a DIY $50 factory cart coffee table. So that's the way their video is named on YouTube, but the plans actually say Farmwood cart coffee table. So my cost was way more than $50. Let's talk about that for a second. The supply list, oh, let's talk about the supply list first. So the supply list does say that it calls for a two by four by eight, that you would need three, you actually need four. They do say that in their video. And when we were at Lowe's, I was like, let's just get an extra one. So glad we did. The photo one step, oh, uh, is the cut list. And then the photo one step, uh, there's a part that's missing between one and two. The assembly of the sides need to go in. Uh, of course, if Papa was here, he'd be able to explain that a little bit better. But that was kind of like head scratching at the moment. Uh, let's see, you do have to pay attention to their video. I had to watch it several times and so did Papa, especially when we were in Lowe's trying to figure it out. We couldn't get their Wi-Fi to work, but as you can see, it was just great. Uh, four pages I was able to print off from their website. The plans are free, F-R-E-E. -E. So that's always great. Um, my lumber cost was about, well, it was $114.19. I did go to Lowe's. I have the item number 50257. I purchased one of those. It's a half by four by two. Item number 50260, those are 347 each. And I did purchase eight of those, and that was for the top, the barn wood. We also purchased item number 7001. It's a two by four by eight top choice, and we purchased four of those. So our total was $20.16. Item number 796. 772. It's a three quarter inch by four by eight. And that was the birch hardwood. That was a whopping $63.74. So I'll go over all of the total project cost at the very end. We did purchase those from Lowe's. Our hardware cost, which was the corner brackets that you saw and the wheels. The metal casters were three inch steel on swivels. Those were $9.99 each. And at Ace Hardware, that item number is 51938. And the cost, total cost for all four was $39.96. The corner braces item number is 529067. Seven, one. Those were $3.59 each for a whopping total of $28.72. Now let's move on to screws and washers. Uh, it did take John just a little bit of extra time to figure out uh, what size screws he wanted. The screws for the bottom to attach those uh, wheels, the steel caster wheels. 
uh, he had to figure out that he had to get a washer because the screw was going through the actual hole. Now, we did have to purchase, uh, you know, 16 of those. So there must have been 16 holes on those wheels. And we did purchase the box of fill tap screws. Those are 12 by three quarters. That was $8.49. $3.20 for the screws and $1.60 for the washers. All right, so paint and stain. Uh, let's talk about that for a minute. This one I had left over from another project. And this paint color is the Catabatic Winds. And this is by Sherwin Williams. I was very happy with this paint. I actually started off using this in closet number three for that bedroom. I love it. Um, I believe this is, oh, it's semi-gloss. So I was very happy with the way that it just rolled on. And I used this for the barn wood that was on the top. You can see some different samples that I do have. I was uh, very pleased with them, even though I did sand off a bit more. And um, obviously you can just see the difference between these samples and then what we actually have on the table. So for the paint and stain, the overall cost was $59.08. So if I were to break it down from Ace Hardware, this was $5.99 each. But because I downloaded their app, and logged in and created an account, I got a $10 off coupon. So my overall cost for two of these was $2.11. When I went in to get the stain, I left Papa in the truck, so I, I did purchase two. So this was the darker one. I couldn't quite decide if I wanted the darker or the lighter. I think they're only like one shade off. So this is the one I ended up using. The Joanna Gaines chalk paint amazing i love it i did use on this table right here the chalk paint that was at lowe's i don't remember the name of it i don't even know if i still have it i don't know it was just all there on uh not an end cap but in the store at their display and i do not like it i don't know if it's this tabletop but even on the bottom i i don't know maybe i'm supposed to apply a wax or something and this was one of my first projects and I just did not like it. So I was a bit skeptical uh, purchasing this by the time I got to check out. It was $31.99. And I, when I got to the truck, I was really blown away at the price. Um, I did not expect a pint to cost that much. Uh, I haven't purchased chalk paint in quite a while, but this was, it's um, by Kills, Magnolia Homes by Joanna Gaines the chalk style paint. This is base one uh, premium paint by Kills and I used shiplap. So this was purchased on the fly when we were there. I'm so glad I did because I only used about half for this coffee table and I have the rest of it left for another project. So I was very, very happy. It applied beautifully. I did use just a cheap brush to do the corners of the coffee table and the sides uh, kind of were like where the little holes were from the nail gun. Uh, we did putty uh, just a few of the nail holes on the top, I think, did we? Oh, I think we decided not to do that. So um, yes, <laughs> so uh, I love the way it just rolled on. I only put a little bit in the tray that I had and started applying it. I knew immediately this was a paint that I'm gonna continue to use and I'll just have to make sure that the colors I buy are, would go for different, different projects. So the Ben Moore, the mint color, this one, Benjamin Moore, uh, this was uh, base one. Uh, it's a premium semi-gloss interior paint and primer. I did go with the, um, which color did I go with again? Honeydew, I thought that was it, yeah. Honeydew, I looked at Melon Deuce, but that must be what it's called in French or Spanish. So um, yes, 
This is the one I went with mint. And the next one was the sample white. When I was in Ace Hardware, I was rereading uh, the Pinterest and the link that it took me to uh, for the source, uh, the blog, it was saying that not to use a flat paint. And I had realized that the day before, I did purchase a gallon of flat paint. I don't know why I got a gallon. But anyway, um, it was not uh, what I wanted for the project. She said that it would soak up the stain so much more at the end that the result just wouldn't be the same. So I did get a sample of the white and this color is Dove Wing. I was extremely happy with it. Uh, something else that I saw on Pinterest a long time ago and I said, I'm always gonna do this. I don't know the source for it. Maybe I could still find that pen was to paint your popsicle sticks. You can see I just don't have them labeled yet. I'm gonna work on that. Uh, but this is something that definitely is gonna stick around with my projects. And I'm just gonna paint the popsicle stick and I painted the front and the back. And trust me, you can see the difference between the chalk paint and Joanna Gaines and the Benjamin Moore sample paint. The chalk paint is just um, it, they feel about the same. This one's a little more, I can feel the texture of the popsicle stick coming through. Call it a popsicle stick, but anyway, um, you can just see the difference. And I will show you a live look here in just a second at the coffee table in the living room and another reason why I love it on wheels. So the project book that I'm going to be starting is this project binder. So I will be putting the sheets end of the project, the total amount of money that I spent. Um, oh, so the sample white was $6.99, the mint was $17.99, in case I didn't say that. The actual cost of all the trips to get this, it's one, two, three, four. I do have my receipts over here on the side. I don't know if you could see them. I have all my receipts. Yes, we took three trips to Ace Hardware. Um, I just think John and I just liked the little run to the store. Uh, but all the trips I spent total $270.66. That included tax. I did not add the tax uh, to the individual cost uh, just because tax is something that we all pay. So I just individually marked everything. I will have a link for what I can find uh, in the description box below. But Shanty to Chic also have, has links as well. So I do recommend that you please go to their website. Oh, actual cost $255.24. So if you would like to try with me to build you one of these barnwood coffee cart uh, tables, I would probably just add an extra hundred dollars in labor. That would just be to, uh, time to collect everything and then build it. A couple questions that Bubba has sent in. And the first one is, do you actually drink coffee on it? He would like to know. Uh, no, we don't drink any drinks on the coffee table. We have side tables. <laughs> well, your papa has a side table. Garga doesn't have one yet. That's another project. Do you have a coffee machine? No, we do not have a coffee machine. But Papa has one at work. Why did you choose blue? I think Bubba's referencing the corner brackets and the wheels. Uh, it's because I always buy the same color spray paint. I always uh, use the spray paint for different projects and having the same color just suits me. My outdoor furniture is painted in the same blue and so are the vases in the front of the house. I just love that shade. And he says, can you make me one? Of course we can make you one. And my dad drinks coffee. Oh, yes, we know Matt drinks coffee. Can't wait to see it in real life. Well, I can't wait for you to come see it in real life too. And he wants to know how hard it was to make. So it wasn't that hard. You do have to follow the directions and use your brain just a bit more. There's a few head scratching kind of moments 
I think the hardest part for me was when he was screwing in the Craig screws and we realized he almost went through the top piece. I think that using those screws sometimes they they tend to wiggle and they don't always stay like perfectly straight when they're going in. So if we had to build another one, I think we'd be extra careful uh, with uh, the top piece with the wood going in. So it wasn't that hard. Uh, got out got to watch Papa work cutting uh, tools. It's always refreshing to smell a great fresh cut piece of lumber in the shop. And I had fun sanding and painting. And that was the last question that he had. I do want to thank everyone so much for your support by liking. The comments have been wonderful, uh, both to my cell phone uh, and the, the phone calls of just support. I appreciate everyone so much. If Bubba was here in person, he would ask for you to please like and subscribe to our channel because he will feed his dog Kylo extra treats. All right, here is the look that I did promise you guys. You can see the different uh, technique that I used from the Pinterest. I will make sure I have that link. I think this is the best barn wood, uh, like fake barn wood look that I have found anywhere. I did save that pen a really long time ago, found it, and the source was still there. This is Eric Church's Highway to Home. It's our first real sofa that we splurged on and we are super super excited about it at first we were like oh why do we need an electric see the blue down there uh, like a power lift for our legs let me tell you what you need to do it when you get old like me I could not even put the foot rest down on the other sofa. I would struggle, literally would flop like a fish over onto my stomach and just slide down. I mean, a couch is powered like that. Huge reason why these caster wheels work for us is I have a very vintage heirloom rug that came from my grandmother's house. I did not want rubber wheels on it because I felt like the rubber would leave indents because they were so skinny. I love these caster wheels. And you can see up close here. They just work really well. So when I am rocking out to refit on YouTube or Richard Simmons or some of my yoga that I just found, I can push the cart all the way up and have all this space. So I can completely do my 80s jazzercise, rock into Richard Simmons. See, it'd be part of our lives. I don't know. Sometimes the stuff just comes out. Is that gonna go on bloopers again? <laughs> do I get a do-over? <laughs> Who's in my marbles? Oh yeah, my marble jar. That's what keeping that's what's keeping the camera. Cause yeah, I still don't have a tripod yet. I don't know if I'm gonna get a tripod. I'm just filming with the iPad. I love the iPad so much. It's so big and nice. I don't even need a new camera to film with. I think the iPad just does a really good job. I have to go back and watch it again on video. Yeah. All right. Well, time to shut the camera off stuff to do today. Trawick made. Talk to you later. Gaga says bye. All right, this is a test shot. See what we got. Woo, that has to be turned off. Let's see what Kelly sent. All right, so Bubba has sent questions. We'll go ahead and get those answered as well. And let's go ahead and turn the volume off for the video. 
you don't want too many bloopers, although Bubba does love those. <laughs> hey, so um, wanted to share briefly. Oh, thank you. Why can I always do that? Can I start over? He says, can you make me one? <laughs> Absolutely, Bubba, I can make you one for $350. Do you have some Monopoly money to share with us? <laughs> Just teasing, sweetheart. We can work on that. Should you wish to sponsor us? We're definitely available. We accept all kinds of free tools or kitchen. I was wondering what that button was for. It's the microphone. Can anybody hear me? Is this the beginning of my bloopers? Well, thank y'all so much for tuning in and watching our coffee cart uh, table video. Papa and I had so much fun making this for our home. And if you want to make one, all you have to do is visit the Shanty to Chic website. They do have a .com. They also have a YouTube with several videos and I just love them on Instagram. Their pictures and just all the stuff that they make for their own homes is just exciting to watch them build something from lumber to a finished project in their homes. And I think that that is the journey that we're gonna go down ourselves and we just can't wait.